Pisces, welcome to this just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Pisces, trust that there is a message here for you, and that message begins with nothing is yet set in stone. I find this a really exciting energy, Pisces, because it feels like anything is possible. Um, if you're waiting for, you know, an outcome or a decision, nothing is yet set in stone. Maybe you can influence it in some way. We've got, you know, potential for things to shift, move and change. We've got potential for possibility. All right, let's go to the Oracle of the Angels. And we have power. Okay, that's the Ace of Swords coming through in this card for me. And that is a victory. And that is a win. Now, what is within your power to influence here, to communicate? What action could you take that might influence this in your favor? Um, because I think there's a breakthrough here. There's a win here for you. Pisces, let's jump into the full tarot deck. I'm intrigued by this reading. This is the beautiful Moonchild Tarot by Danielle Knoll Art, which is a gorgeous tarot deck. And your first energy out is the Devil. It's sort of in reverse, but I always take that into consideration. So, where you have felt out of power or powerless, you are stepping into your power. There's a breaking free energy here. Okay, so nothing is yet set in stone. Maybe, you know, you were thinking, oh, you know, that's never going to work or that's out of my power. Well, I think that actually you're overcoming something here. You're overcoming some kind of major block, whether it was financial or a block within yourself or your environment. The devil, I feel, you know, is being overcome. All right, what else? And the moon. So this is interesting, Pisces, because this is quite illusionary energy. And I think that you're you're getting clarity here. Now, this is actually your major arcana for me. So you're coming to power over the devil. You're overcoming that block. And the moon asks us to look into, you know, our own dark corners or also see through the illusion, see with clarity, okay? And that is how, you know, you can make your most informed decision. Now, the moon talks about a new path revealing, okay, that is starting to reveal for you. Yes, and the Page of Pentacles is here, which always links to the Ace of Pentacles. And I feel there's a new solid opportunity. There's new stability, new security that is coming in, okay? And by stepping into your power and following that opportunity, it feels like this is within your reach, but nothing is set in stone yet. So maybe you were thinking with that devil energy, oh, because, you know, I don't feel like that will ever happen. I just won't take that action. Well, then nothing will happen and you won't get it. So you're being asked to overcome that. There is still something you can do here or there is still a breakthrough. So get looking, seeking, whatever the Ace of Pentacles uh, you know, really is for you, you're being asked to go for it. And the Ten of Cups is here. Gorgeous. I mean, this is where we all want to get to Pisces. For me, it's my blessed best life living. Now, that could be, you know, uh, having a life partner, moving to a beautiful location, having your own home, uh, whatever it is for you, okay? And I think that we have a gateway to that that is possible. And by stepping into your power right? I think that you can actually take a quantum leap forward. Okay, what else do we have? And the Four of Cups. Yeah, I just feel that you're being asked to come back to the goal, come back to the dream. This is no time to be, you know, let's say passive or complacent. It's time to fire up in action because you're about to take some major step forward if you do. Yeah, <laughs> well, Knight of Swords and I'm sort of laughing because this is my quantum leap card, just after talking about there, that where things really speed up and shift, okay? So I also feel with the Knight of Swords that you might be getting a message or a communication, or if you apply for whatever you need, that Ace of Pentacles coming through with the page can be yours, but there needs to be some action in the game here. And the Three of Swords in reverse, yeah. So what I've got here, I'll put it in the upright for, for reading. Nothing is yet set in stone. Something here that you thought you were going to lose that was just going to be another disappointment. It's all out of my power and I can't do anything about it. 
turns around, right? Because nothing is yet set, set in stone, it feels like there might be something that you can do, whether you provide some more evidence, whether you follow this up, whether you communicate something or take an action, depending on what it is, it will be different for all of you. And I feel that that is the difference between a loss and a win. Because a three of swords is also a creation energy, creation out of the thought of loss. By stepping into your power and communicating or taking that action, I actually feel that this turns around to a win for you. But we have to overcome that devil energy, which is the temptation to just be like, okay, it's all hopeless. I'm not going to do anything. Well, then we will get the three of swords. But we also, this came in in reverse. There is an opportunity to reverse a loss into a win. So I will leave it there, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Do keep in mind it is a general reading for the collective. So if you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, first link down below will pop you over to my website and you can check out what I offer. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, hit subscribe on your way out. I'd be super grateful for that. And Pisces, I will be back here in two days time for your weekly tarot reading. I will see you then for now. Sending love and magic. Bye for now.